while back, I had the idea of sharing the process of building out my office and just kind of calling it a development environment vlog and that sort of thing because it's bigger than just what was in the computer. It was, it was a whole thing. I have moved um, locations a couple of times. I've had to build and rebuild my office and I'm finally in a place where I can really start putting um, real true time and effort into it. And so I wanted to document that process. This is a bit of a catch up video just because I think it's uh, kind of fun to, to share these sorts of things and kind of share ideas and see how it goes along. So anyway, one of the first things that I had to do when I moved into this space was of course, get a rug, lay that out, nothing crazy over the top, but it helps some of the sound treatment that I hope is beginning to make a positive impact on these videos. Um, however, the next big thing that I needed to do was happened a little bit sooner than I anticipated. And I needed to essentially rebuild my desk. Eventually I would like to get an uplift desk so that I can kind of stand and sit and all that sort of thing throughout the day. So that I'm not literally spending 10 to 12 hours sitting down at a desk. Um, however, take a look at this. When I was moving into this new office, I had, I was setting up this desk and I've got concrete floors. The PS5 wasn't here, but the monitors and this tower were on the desk. Those are the old legs. They were a full on side. I didn't have these legs, but when I moved it, those, they're just connected by these little wooden dowels. They broke. So what happened was this whole desk, it went down. The leg broke out, the, the tower went down, um, a lot of this stuff hit the ground. Um, I had just moved into a new house and I was spending money on a couple of, a bunch of other different things. So instead of using that time to immediately go out and make the huge upgrade to an uplift desk, I decided to kind of just build some legs from scratch to kind of keep it going from there. Um, also, I thought that this would be a good idea to share, just to show that sometimes you can be a little bit scrappy and get by. This was literally a couple of two by sixes that I really just kind of cut up into the pieces that I needed it to be, put it together and threw it on there. It looks fine in the video and it's been functional for a couple of months now, but um, I made measurements, but nothing is really perfect or really, really great. Um, this is really just incredibly rough carpentry, just kind of thrown together. Okay, this next part, I absolutely hated doing. Um, in the middle of my desk falling apart and everything falling down, the case hit the ground hard. I honestly, I am, I'm super impressed <laughs> with Fractal's uh, build quality and I'm really glad that the tempered glass didn't shatter. Um, but what happened as a result of all that was that I had to essentially bend the case, the deformed case back into uh, the semi sort of shape. Um, these were just unspeakable things that I had to do to a computer case um, that is, I hope I never have to do again. Eventually, I am probably going to upgrade the case. Uh, well, I, I was planning on upgrading the case anyway, um, but now it's gonna come a little sooner than I had anticipated because it's fine, it's functional, but it's definitely not the way that I would like it to be. So doing all of that sucked and I hope to never use a hammer on a PC ever again. What I started to notice was that, I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, maybe here if the light comes, but the back panel is bent too. If I run my finger over here, over this little, this little spot right here, I can feel where just slightly the back panel or the, this panel is bent. So yeah, getting the panel even on there and tight enough that it's being held on there without screws. It's just the little push button holders that are holding it on there. I'm calling that a success. Um, this looks like absolutely horrible. And if you saw the riveted piece that's kind of holding these pieces together right here. So yeah, I'm glad it went back together. It definitely some battle scars there. So that's where we're at for now. Thanks for watching the first vlog that I've put up in a while. Um, I'll try to continue putting these up in the future as I make more changes to the office. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. And as always, keep building.